Hey guys, Taryn speaking and welcome back to my channel. As promised, here is my new speed build which is a lot better than the previous one. I've been looking forward to share this because this is a little special build. I have got some help with this actually from a friend. He was visiting us last week and while he was here I started to build on this and whenever I got stuck I asked him for advice and I showed him some different options of what I was thinking and he had some ideas and came to the rescue. So it's kind of a semi collab. So in the last video I said that I have only done residential lots so far. That's not completely true. I have of course my Bali themed spa and bar and also a small Christmas market and restaurant and museum. So I have done a lot more than I actually thought I had. I was pretty tired when I recorded that voiceover because I've had visitors most of the week and let's just leave it at that. So today I am making a lounge, a very exclusive lounge. I wanted the dress code to be formal. I wasn't able to figure out how that works in a lounge. I know you can do that in a restaurant, but whenever you are visiting here, remember to dress up. So when I first started out with this build, I had some inspiration from different hotels. I was daydreaming about traveling again and whenever I do so I tend to look at tours and tickets, hotels and things to do. So I found this hotel that looks really cool and I used that as an inspiration along with a lot of different hotels that I have been visiting. And yes, a lot of the inspiration I have come from my backpacking trip throughout Asia. So of course there is a bunch of features from there as well. And since the hotel also had this amazing view over the city, I thought why not do the same here. I have never been building in this world before. I'm not gonna bother try and pronounce the name, but it is ages ago since I bought the pack. So it's about time that I put up a build here. I wasn't really sure about what I wanted to use this build as. I was starting out to have this huge shopping mall because I have never done that before, I think, so that might be an idea for my next build, but for some reason I ended up with a lounge instead. You can easily use this as a club if you rather want that, or anything else, you just have to do some minor changes, I guess. The build itself isn't that huge, but big enough to give the city a statement of here it is. The best lounge in town so I am adding a lot of decor on the walls and I'm also using the windows from the jungle pack as decoration and adding a lot of lightning and that's what I believe a famous lounge would be like. Be really decorative and illuminate the entire city. So as you may have noticed I am spending a lot of time adding details on the building, more the merrier I think. Placing all the lights and the walls and between the windows took forever. It felt bad at the time at least, but it looked really good after. And I really hope you guys like it. If not, my friend will become really upset and they'll probably never build with me ever again. So when I was in Singapore, I was staying at two different hotels. One of them was maybe the most famous hotel, Marina Bay Sands. The reason why I wanted to stay here is because of the infinity pool on the roof with an incredible view. The Marina Bay Sands have three towers and this boat ship floor is connecting them on the top that have a huge pool, restaurant, bar and so on. It's really amazing so I wanted to have something similar as well. I have only got two towers and my pool isn't really an infinity pool but I think your sims would enjoy it quite well anyway. The other hotel had a very large lobby and the first few things that met me, well three actually, was the biggest chandelier I have ever seen. It was huge. I can't even describe the size of it and right underneath it on the floor there were this huge picture in tiles. I'm not sure but I think it was a compass if I remember correctly. The third part isn't something that I can or gonna add to my build but it smelled really really a lot like insanely. It was meant to smell good but it was just 
way too much so when we first arrived we had to wait in line for our turn to check in and it just took forever and the smell was just so intense i'm not joking it started to burn in my nose so whenever we were in the lobby afterwards we held our breath and ran through i really don't envy the people who work there every day but back to my build a little um, I discovered unfortunately that we can only have one elevator so I had to place stairs in my build. I wasn't really aware of that so that was kind of a bummer but I am trying to make the best of it so one elevator I have to do I guess. I was trying to use colors that look sophisticated and exclusive together so I am using a lot of black, dark pink, gold and white. I am also going to place mannequins around, they will kind of represent people that work there. The ground floor will have a large bar area with no less than 4 bars. Here you can order drinks and mingle around and I also have a lot of places where you can sit as well. Some more private than others and I was also trying to make this picture on the floor but I wasn't able to do so so I decided to cheat a little and use a lot of rugs instead. I just have to tell you that the season is kind of messing up my video recording. I was having a lot of fun decorating this build when I was done. Of course there were a lot of fog so I had to get the weather device thing again. And you'll probably already know this, but obviously it doesn't always work when you're trying to change the weather and you'll get dazzled for a while. It looks like you're struck by lightning, so I try to change the weather again since I wanted to be done with this build and this sky suddenly appears. This is my first death experience, so I was a bit startled because I didn't realize what was happening at the time. The urn is also missing. Um, I was trying to put it in my inventory but that didn't work so I hid it somewhere and I don't know if that disappeared when you upload it or not but if it's still there it's somewhere in this lot. I just don't remember where I put it so let me know if you find it. The second floor will have a bar as well but a lot smaller. Usually when I have a bar, I also have a lot of extra counters and stuff, but I don't have that in this build. It's very simple and elegant. Most of the sofa and the chairs are facing the window so you can enjoy the view. I also have a piano here so you can listen to live music since it's a requirement. The tables I am placing in each corner are like a podium or something where the staff can entertain the guests. It doesn't really work in game but I thought it was a fun idea. So I'm just gonna place the mannequins here instead. And while doing so I came to think of another idea for a build. Not gonna spoil that but I think that would be really cool and fun if it works. The two towers will be identical. Um, I'm not gonna bother showing both since it looks exactly the same. The first floor in the tower will have toilets. The men and women toilets are gonna be separated so I am placing each one of them in different towers. I think it's a girl thing but girls do rarely go to the bathroom alone when they are out together so I decided to have this sofa area outside so your sims can talk girl stuff. I also gonna add a bench inside the toilet room as well. But yeah, toilets for girls are like a meeting place. I am gonna make sure that you can enter each other tower and I wanted the outside area to be stylish. Not a place where you would hang around much but I will place some chairs around in the corners and plants for decoration just so it wouldn't look completely empty. The next floor is gonna be a VIP room. This room is very luxurious and intimate. Yes, you can watch the other swim around, but I imagine it's a one-way glass, so it's really private with an amazing view. They are also possible to get to one tower to the other by using the bridge that goes outside the pool. So the rooftop will also be pretty private, where you can dance, have drinks, swim, or just look at a view. I'm also gonna add colorful fountains on the edge since I didn't have anything better to have there but it worked really well. 
The color choice is my friend's idea, but I am very pleased with it. I wasn't able to place a fountain on the ground floor, and since I didn't want the sims to swim around in a pool there, uh, I made a fake pool. That's all for today guys. The video tour is coming up and remember if you like my build give me a thumbs up. You can also follow me and subscribe on my Twitter, YouTube and Twitch account. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so I can improve my future builds and videos. And also if you find holy roses earned to let me know. This will can be downloaded from the Sims 4 gallery and my origin ID is Turn Sims. Link to the build is in the description below and do check out my other build as well. See you guys soon. Bye bye guys. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. They change, but in a cycle that I can't lose. Each painful but delightful to live through. You came into my life just like another season. Not for long, just a time, just like another season. Turn and change just like your mind Like the sun gives in to the moon Into the night Time continues marching It slowly crawls With each new one starting I recall Whoa. You came into my life Just like Another season, not for long, just a time, just like another. Like an ever fading whisper in the breeze. Oh, we will keep on changing.